This is the 2022 Veloz and it just looks so good. It looks quite different from our average Avanza because it does have plenty of chrome pieces and just look at this grille. If the Avanza's grille was just a horizontal lines that look like a whale shark, now this one looks like a, like a Spider-Man turned into Venom, something like that effect. So it just has very good look. Look at this chrome, like it does have plenty of T-shapes in front and also at the back. So considering this one is the G variant, I can't wait to see the V variant. I hope you guys are excited as well. There are like flaps here. The lighting system, they are like in clusters, but not the clusters that you imagine like you see in a Fortuner Limited. If you haven't watched it, please do watch it here. <laughs> but they are in LEDs. The turn signals are in sequential, but the fog lamps are in halogen. Now, I can't wait to see the V and see if it also has halogen, but it is not a big problem. Very easy upgrade. So the V would have like sensors here because it will come equipped with Toyota Safety Sense and it will also have 360 camera. Let me show you the lights. So that's park light, headlight, fog lamp, high beam. Ooh, so bright. Turn signal. And Busina. Oh, Busina is good. Let's check what's under the hood. Before we continue, it's summer already. We need good tint because sunlight will make us go old. If you want to keep your rosy skin alive, I would like to recommend the perfect solution, Solarex Films. They are premium films with very reasonable price and comes with 20 years of warranty unless you change ownership. So there's no tint like that. It comes from Italia. Mm, Italia, yes. If you want to know more about this tint, please DM them. And if you want to purchase one, mention my name and you get the best price possible. <laughs> Under the hood of the Veloz, it has a four-cylinder 1.5-liter gasoline engine. It's about 105 horsepower and 138 newton meters of torque. This is mated to a CVT. CVT, it is naturally aspirated with seven seats. But you know, Avanza is already a proven vehicle here in the Philippines. Please stop commenting that this is a Daihatsu. But still, you will be happy that it kinda came from Daihatsu because it has tons of features inside that you wouldn't expect in a G variant. This is the side of the Veloz, G variant. This is not the top variant, but it still comes with keyless entry system. You can easily put your thumb here on the sensor and the side mirrors will auto power fold. Well, in this case, unfold. And it also comes with welcome light or puddle lamps. Can you believe that, guys? This is very cool. And when you open your door, the ambient lighting system actually turns on and they are in color blue, my favorite color. There are so many things that changed on the side. To start with, the Veloz is wider and longer than your average Avanza. And as you can see, the two-tone wheels are really nice. They come in 17 inches and we have now disc braking system on all four corners. Still comes with Macpherson in front and torsion beam. I can't wait to test drive this one. It's coming very soon in the video, so watch out for that. Don't forget to subscribe. Here, this chrome accent here in the shoulder line. There are also plenty of black plastic for that extra protection. It kind of reminds me of a Mitsubishi Expander Cross. Moreover, now we have roof rails with tabs here and here, just like what you would see in other SUVs, meaning you can actually install roof basket or roof tent or whatever you want on the roof. Isn't that amazing? Just to give you an idea, there, that's my fist. Yon, I cannot even reach for the lowest point here. But the lowest point must be somewhere else. Yep, the tambucho is the lowest point. 
but it's like this much different. Wow, did you see that, guys? LED bar, whoa, and it says Veloz here. So the rear looks completely different from our average Avanza. Comes with two backup sensors and a camera. Halogen type of lights for the plate. LED, oh my goodness, my eyes. LED type of turn signals and the brake system. There's a spoiler here with washer nozzle, top mount brake light, wiper. And I just like this very much. This is very updated, like black on top and red in the middle. This is very good. Something you would see in a Corolla Cross as well. There's one tambucho here and the spare wheel is a full size 17 inch wheel. Ooh, T-shaped reflectors and designed vents. Let's open the trunk. And what's here under are so many compartments and a place for the jack and tools are here. More than enough space. Since we have third row seats, yes, this one can sit seven. Ample amount of space, like you can put a lot of things here. Here even on the left side, and it is easy to fold. Just pull this ribbon, pull it and push. Pull it and to the point that it will drop automatically and you have a flat surface. I know everybody enjoyed the lounge mode. This one, it also has the lounge mode. So you can have the same amount of convenience as the Avanza, but this one gets better. Important details are there are like places you can put like compartments on the side, right below the windows. 12 volt is there and two cup holders on the both sides. Finally, we have made it to the interior because the outside, it took me some time. But wow, the lower variant of the Velos still looks premium. Normally, if you get the lower variant, you feel that you were cheated, but this one, no. Plenty of like white materials, although they're like plastics, but in the armrest areas where you would always touch, they are still in good leather. Also, the ship knob, the armrest here in the center console cover, the steering wheel also looks good. What I like here is that we have practical stuff. Good aircon, good backup camera with sensor. Yes, the Veloz G comes with e-brake and brake hold function. Mind-blowing. Comes with airbags everywhere. One airbag, two airbags, three airbags, four airbags, five airbag, six airbag. The seats are very comfortable and they're very grippy. They're in cloth, but they're in very, very soft material. Like some people complained that the race quality wasn't good for the seats. For me, it was okay. And this one is also very okay for me. Eight inch touchscreen here. On the V, you will get the nine inch, but we do have the same seven inch uh, multi-display info system here in the instrument cluster. So it comes with good cup holder here. And for the passenger, it's the push type that actually slides out like, you know, like you had like constipation and then like boom. <laughs> Amazing vehicle for the price. How much is the price? 1,185,000 pesos SRP. Push start button, wireless charge system. Even my Note Ultra 20 can fit without the cover. With the cover, it's not gonna fit that well. But without the cover, it fits perfectly, like perfectly that it will stay there even though like you are tilted that way. So that is very good. CVT gear lever with leather as well, with stitching, with sport mode. Uh, you can have no echo mode and power mode, but like this one is a bit different. There's a drive button here on the steering wheel. So you can like press it once, becomes turbo, hold it, then it becomes echo. So you need to somewhat explore that yourself. Automatic lighting system, manual windshield wiper, that's okay. It feels like I'm in a race, but in a seven seater. I never expected and there's also a power charge port here in the center console. Ooh. Lots of convenience features, really if you're looking for a Toyota and many people like drooling over Chinese cars because they have so much features, like this one hits the sweet spot. If you want confidence, 
and also lots of convenience and trouble free ownership let's go to the back now we're here in the second row where you can find the sofa mode i said lounge mode earlier lots of versatility because you can slide it forward and backward you can also recline it forever until you get to the sofa point when you pull this ribbon right here the entire center 20 percent comes down to become our armrest it's a good combination of leather and cloth like this center is leather Ooh. could be synthetic leather but still leather and this area the armrest is also cushion cup holder the door handles are in chrome and the aircon system same as your other avanza and having this good led cabin light you do get the same system as the avanza same blower but it will really hit the third row because of this fins here now let me show you a bit more of the details if you're enjoying this video please do hit that subscribe button and like this video now let me show you the inside in detail the door panel cb plastic metal cushions this area look ambient lighting in your velos and like crystal effect here i like this the a pillar has good window for better visibility bottle holders speaker manual seat oh it also has leather okay and fabric it holds me tightly very good does have like airbag here do you see it, it says airbag airbags everywhere veloz floor matting typical and compartment here for the coins release of the hood traction on and off more options here probably we'll see a lot of buttons here for the v variant cup holder still we do have oh carbon fiber accent here metal maybe for the speaker or something else in the future compartment here now you see this blank here on the other side you do have another charge port so maybe we can just add another one here the compartment this area is very nice look it looks so luxurious but it kind of looks like a land rover or a jaguar like if you just put like two physical dials there yeah you might even say that oh don't quote me on that <laughs> the power buttons here side mirror control auto power folding only the driver is fully powered and up and down others are powered this comes with speed sensing door lock this is the interior and the dashboard of the Veloz G variant so good chrome accent 7 inch multi display this one is like same as what you would see in your race and this one you have different design there that's one two three four which one is your favorite i like blue so this okay i mean p right oh oh 1.5 liter raising raising but you still have like a digital speedometer on the right so that's really good but i don't know if i can find engine temperature automatic lighting system manual windshield wiper leather wrap steering wheel with this kind of accents makes it look expensive more buttons more areas for like toyota safety sense computer control voice command okay voice recognition you need connection with the phone audio controls and drive so look at this when you like short press it becomes like you see the power but when you do long press then it becomes echo mode but when you do long press it becomes normal mode and then like still maintains the two tone three tone four tone <laughs> affair it works like that eight inch touchscreen with android auto and apple carplay it's not the fastest but we need more ram <laughs> but it works well if you're not like super uh in a hurry like me the air condition <laughs> very easy to do blower 
temperature, auto, but it doesn't have directional. This one is gone. Maybe we can buy in Lazada. <laughs> Glossy material, nice ambient lighting. Feels like a Land Rover, really. Push start button is here instead of here. Seat belt condition. Very nice. Oh, this is not leather wrapped. Is it leather wrapped? It is leather wrapped. Okay, with gloss and chrome. It just looks like a like top of the line cars. Not gated, but still comes with Shiptronic. Electronic parking brake with brake hold function. Mmm, so sweet. My phone is quite big and it charges here wirelessly. Okay. And it's good, you know, they place something like this here so your finger will kind of slide in really well. That is attention to detail. <laughs> Veloz. Veloz badge. And this one is what I like. Three, two, one, boom. Like from constipation to diarrhea, boom. This one just comes down that quickly. Yeah, time is gold, so it has to come down very quickly. These are in LEDs. Okay, sun visors with mirror and ilaw. Yeah, if it opens up, it will ilaw. I see the ilaw there. Okay, down here, there's a 12 volt with some padding there. Very, very soft material. So the front seats are in matte mode. So now let me bring you to the second room. Oh yeah, standard room mirror with day and night. The second row, nicely padded, chrome, power button, cup holder, bottle holders, speaker, and look at this. You know why we have this? Because we can install roof rack or basket, so you can actually step on it and reach for your stuff here. That's very good. The seat controls are here, just like your Fortuner and your previous Toyota vehicles. The center tunnel is on the high side. We do have Veloz mattings also. Ooh. We're inside. There are pouches here and here. Oh, cup holder. Two USB Type A power ports. The air vents, the fins. The one you can find in your Avanza. Okay, manual type of blower control. LED, cabin light. What more can you ask for than the sofa mode? Yeah, there you go. I don't really need to explain to you so much about the space here because it is quite similar with the other Avanzas. If you haven't watched that video, please do have a watch, but oh my dear. Looking at the ambient lights, very very cool here we go guys i'm just gonna let you experience with me how it feels like to drive the veloz right now auto brake hold system in a veloz uh the drive mode right now is in echo mode here we go let's try it this is just the parking space so we're not gonna do anything dramatic. Just like this, ikot ikot. And hoping that everything will be fine. So, this is okay. Maybe we can go left here? Oh no. Okay, we need to go left. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I don't know the way here. But the steering is very light. The steering is really light. Oh, I don't think I can like make a turn there. Let's see. Let's try. It's quite easy to drive this car, even in this tight space, because the steering wheel is very light. It's electronically adjusted or assisted. So from here, I'm going to try to make a turn. And I don't think I can do it in one turn. Can I? Oh, I can. Yay. Thank you, Lord. There you go. So we're still OK. Are we okay? <laughs> this is exciting. Now I'm just gonna put to uh, normal mode. So let's see, one more. Woo. So yeah, 
driving is easy and when you press the gas even though it's CVT you don't feel the delay like that one I can tell you even though I just did one ikot that's like easy to say also reverse the camera is good like if you turn off the lighting system the LED or the LCD becomes brighter so you can see things more clear and then although there's no guideline the sensor works really well and also you can see in the screen the angle of your steering or your front wheels so that's also cool so one more time oh yeah so very short drive <laughs> i cannot even say it's a drive but the car goes when i want to go meaning there's no delay like in this uh, slow moving speed that's very important for me because philippines very very traffic you know so that is very good so having the v with the toyota safety sense will also do a lot of help so i'm gonna park this one and i'm going to do a formal drive in the future thank you everyone for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you liked it please hit that subscribe button and like this video and also comment if you have questions if you want Toyota vehicles, please do contact Mr. Basilio here in Toyota Pasong Tamo. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. May your dreams come true. Annyeong!